Oh my god, it's... I just... The storage... It's over 9,000! Hello, ladies and gentlemen of the internet, my name's the Penguin of the Sea Penguin, and welcome to another Mod Spotlight. In today's episode, we shall be looking at the mod known as Modular Systems. Now, this mod is pretty awesome, it adds cool stuff like that, which I'll explain in a minute. But, uh, yeah, it adds things like a generator, a furnace, a crusher, storage, and other things, which are all modular. And if you don't know the definition of modular, maybe you should read a book. I'm just joking. Modular basically means that uh, you can add on as much as a little as you like. So you can have massive things like a farm. A farm can be modular. You can have a farm be as big as you need or as small as you need. You can add on parts. You can take away parts. Simple as. Now that we've covered the definition of modular, let's dive into the mod. Now to start with, we have the generator. Now this generator is modular, generator core, and RF power output, solid fuel, liquid fuel, and redstone flux power bank. Now, to craft these things, to craft a modular generator core, you'll need four pistons, an iron block, and four iron ingots, and that'll get you the modular generator core. I'll go through all the crafting recipes first, and then show you how to build these things. Next, you've got the RF power output, which uh, is just the redstone power bank in a crafting table again. Now, to craft that, you need four redstone blocks, a piston, and four iron. To get the solid fuel power bank, which you're going to need for a lot of these things, four coal, a chest, and four iron. For the liquid one, uh, just glass, four iron, and four buckets. Oh, and for the redstone power, four. Oh, we've already covered that. Never mind. Never mind. Uh, to craft these things, we have uh, many options like this. I'll explain that in a minute. That'll be the mystery. Ooh. Right. Now with the furnace, you need just the modular furnace core, which is just a furnace with a iron around it, which is pretty easy. I'm going to take that because I'll show you how to do that in a minute. Now with the crusher, uh, you have just eight flint around a piston. With the storage, you have a lot of things, a lot of storage things. And I'll show you those when we get to the storage bit. And we have the other things which should control redstone, but I'll get to those in a minute as well. So to craft these things, I'm just going to take the sign, you can craft it in a modular way. So I can have a 3x3, three three, like this, like so. Now see this pattern that has happened? This means that this structure was successfully built. And we have this nice GUI. Now over here, which shows the speed, the efficiency, and the mul multiplicity, basically meaning how many snots it can do at the same time. Now efficiency is obviously, yeah, speed is obviously how fast it goes. Now, depending on what materials you build these out of, you can build them out of modular materials, so you don't just have to use one kind of block, you can use multiple blocks, but uh, I like to use all of the same. Yeah, now this won't work because we are missing a vital component, which is this, the solid fuel bank. Now I can put it anywhere on this structure. See, when I break a block, it breaks apart. Uh, notice when you do do that, it will break uh, any blocks that will go in there. Now you've got to do, to do it again, it's just right click, and the structure is built again. To access any of these inventories, just shift right click, and bam, right in the face, you got another GUI. Now, if we wanted to add some coal, not coal, some coal, like preferably some coal blocks, just put that in. Now, this would be ready to go to smelt things. So, if I got some sand, like this, and put it in, see, it's just happily now smelting. Now, since this is only half speed, we have, if I say built it out of diamond blocks, it would be a lot faster. Now, I'll show you the difference in a minute. I'll do a little race between these two systems, and I'll show you how they work. Now, the crusher here works in exactly the same way, except maybe I want to build it in a 5x5 five five pattern. So...
And now for some reason, this isn't working correctly. Depending on the size, it depends how fast it'll go and things like that, and also how what material it's built up. There is an equation to figure it out, but I'm not going to show you that because that's boring. So next, well, the crusher to start with uh, crushes things down and uh, duplicates it, really. Simple as like a pulverizer or other things like that. Now, for our next one, we've got the storage. Now, the storage is really interesting because it's modular storage, obviously, and that's the aim of the mod. So you need to start with this, which is the modular uh, storage core. So, to craft this item, what we do is it's just four planks, four, sorry, four planks, four wood, and a chest. That gives you the modular core. Now, this modular core has 66 blocks in it, as standard. Now, as next one, we've got the basic storage expansion, which, in fact, connects other blocks to this block, which is pretty easy, but pretty useless at the same time, because I can just say, get this capacity storage, and do that, and the capacity is increased by 11, so it's now at 77. Now, to craft this capacity expansion, all it is is a chest and one of those basic storage expansions, which is eight planks and string, but you get four of them, so that's pretty good. So you got that, which ex expands it, and I can do it as many times as I like in any direction, and it will still increase. Next, we've got the search storage expansion. So say I wanted to put it there. This now gives me a search option, whether if I was wanting to put anything in there, which is quite cool. Now to craft this, all of this is a book and quill and a storage basic storage expansion. Next, we've got the sorting storage expansion. So now if I do this, I now have a sort button. So I did that and that. I can go and click sort or like that. Sort and it chain it sorts the items, which is quite cool. Next, we've got the IO storage expansion. Now this is basically a filter, if you will. It decides what can come in and what can go out. Now you've got all these options to export the if it's allowed to export the damage, the ore dictionary, the MBT, anything and black and white list nice and easy. Now that will limit what can come in and what can go out. And to craft one of those, all it is, is a book, a hopper, a piston, and a basic storage expansion. Next, we have the security storage expansion. Now this, by default, I believe has your name on it, anyway. So now shift right click to access it. So it's secure, meaning it's, you know, secure. Now, uh, by default, it, you can access it, but if, say, I had a friend, like Dox, who was playing with me, I'd have to put his name in to be able to let him access my area. Or, I can just click on this, and it's no longer secure. Nice and easy. Next on our list, well, we've got iron bars and basic storage expansion, which crafts that. Next on our list, we have the crafting storage expansion, which is nice and easy. It's just a crafting table and a basic storage expansion. Now this allows you to add a crafting table in. Now you don't have to keep clicking on this block, you can click anywhere and it'll bring up the storage. Now it's down here, I've got a nice little uh, storage window. I believe it's that for glass. What's the recipe for glass panes? Oh, I've forgotten. Oh, now I remember, it's like that. See, glass panes, I just click on that and that will craft me glass panes, but I kind of want these glass blocks. Now that is basically uh, all those blocks in a nutshell. Oh, and also, last but not least, we have the hopper block. Now, this is quite cool. Uh, you shift right click, would change the radius of where it, uh, how many blocks it absorbs from. But say I was to drop this block, close enough, really. So say if I boost this up to 10 blocks away, now if I do this, it'll get slowly sucked in to the inventory, and it's nice in here. Like that. Now to craft that, all it is is just a hopper, an ender pearl, and a basic storage expansion. Now that will work with the uh, the IO one to be able to make it able to um, absorb blocks, which is quite cool. Next to these other ones, we've got the uh, the module systems redstone input and the redstone output. Now with these, I believe they uh, allow redstone input and output, and allow you to set. Uh, abilities based on that. Seems pretty easy. Now with these ones as well, like the flux power bank and uh, the redstone, uh, the 
redstone flux power output. This is obviously if you're using the generator and you want to give power to your machines, and this stores the power. It's basically like a bat box or a redstone energy cell and things like that. Now, for the main event that is happening, we have a cobblestone crusher with a cobblestone uh, furnace. I just need to right-click to activate it again. Now, uh, against, over here, we've got a diamond crusher with a diamond uh, furnace connected to these storage devices, which are pretty much exactly the same. All they've got are these IO ports, which uh, I believe I need to quickly show you. Now, these IO ports you can connect to anywhere, like so. Now, it's just two hoppers, a dispenser, and two pistons. And now what you can do with these is you can right-click, and it will say if it's allowed to import, export, or auto, meaning it depends on what's happening at the time. Now, that is uh, quite useful because uh, you can do things like put chests on it, like this. And it will automatically pull from chests, automatically eject chests. You can use hoppers as well, like I have here. There's no need. I could have literally just put the IO ports down there and they were the transferred items nice and easily as long as I'd set them correctly. If you don't, they might import and export from the same chest, which could be useful and not useful at the same time. There is currently a bug, I believe, in this version where if you look at the crusher and it shows you all the things you can crush, you can crush glass into sand, which is quite useful, and things like that. The only problem is, is that there are no basic ores, so you can't crush iron into dust, you can't crush gold into dust, which is really weird, but you can crush the ones like diamonds and emeralds and redstone. So if I got iron, it's got some iron ore, and I put it in the crusher, nothing. It's fueled, here, like this, it's all, not, it's all fueled, but nothing, literally nothing. So, uh, yeah, that's kind of weird. But glass works perfectly fine, so that's also strange. Now, I'm going to have a little race. See, there's nothing in this stor modular storage, and there's nothing in this modular storage. Now, I'll show you the uh, speeds. So, this is 2.25 with an efficiency of minus 2.81, meaning this is less efficient, but a speed of 2.25. Whereas this one uh, has a uh, speed of 50%, efficiency of 18.75, and a multiplicity of 4. Now, this is pretty good, but obviously very expensive, because I needed, uh, like, was it seven diamond blocks? Which is, you know, no, not seven diamond blocks. Oh my god, I'm going, I'm going mad. 25 diamond blocks, because three dimensions. So, for this little test, for this little race, I'm going to put glass in there, and I'm going to put glass in there, and we'll see how fast they process, if it's exported. Are you going to export, or are you going to export, or... Well, this is uh, em embarrassing. All right, we'll just the old fashioned way. All right, on your mark, get set, go, go. All right, uh, so this is taking, you know, quite slow. It's just turning into sand quite slowly. Whereas this one is doing it very quickly and four times the speed. So it can smelt four things at the same time. So 52, smelted, 48. See, it can go four times quicker. And this has got eight in it. This one's got one. So as you can see, this is very, very fast. Whereas this one is not as fast, which is a shame. But, you know, it happens. It happens. It happens to the best of us. Shh, it's okay. Anyway, thank you very much for watching this spotlight. If you enjoyed, pay no attention to the thing over there. It did not take me a very long time to place all those capacity banks. Thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed this episode, please do like and subscribe for more videos from me and you're staring at my back. So, thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. I think of the men and machines and friends and ideas and philosophies and experiences.